My name is Marlene Guest and I've been coming to this house for on and off for about five years. But during the last few weeks, the problems really accelerated and I want everybody to know what's happening to this poor lady. And nobody is, is giving, no, no, I'm just bothered at all. This lady stood in our town centre yesterday with this notice. Because she wants, she's so upset and she's been everywhere and I've tried my best so I'm really going to town now to see what we can get done for her because nobody on this God's earth would have to put up with this. Can you tell me what's been happening to you in the last week or so? Starting with your television aerial. Oh, uh, uh, I was talking up front and when I came to let myself in, they come, come over, well must have done. They didn't pass out and take the key out of me gate, locked it, and I had to get postman and somebody from a crossroad to get me in. And, those, and how many times have you had your television aerial cut? Four. So when I cut, there were four, four repairs yesterday when I came, and it's been cut again since yeah. I came yesterday, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. What about your windows? Oh, windows. Well, I were up front uh, tidying it up a bit and I had the breakage. I dashed through and I didn't see anybody. My kitchen windows had been put through. So I went to insurance and when I came back, they'd done my French windows. So that's four windows then? Yeah, and they'd been down the garden, smashed my plants, smashed my little ornaments and everything. Some of them I've had years. Since you've been here, um. Has anybody ever expressed an interest in your house, wanting to buy it? Oh, you get fed up of them stopping you. Don't you get fed up of living in an area like this, we're mainly Asian. We'll buy your house. And I said, I'm going to stay here until I can't manage it. I said, I've got it like a bungalow now. How long have you been here? Did your old man carry you over at Threshold when you got no, married? No, no, no. no. Uh, Nearly 50 years. Nearly 50 years. And you've nobody, have you? Well... I'm, no family, have you? I've, I've got a son, haven't I? Eyes in America. I mean, local. Well, I have, Marlene. Have you? But the... Is it all right to tell you about one of them? Well, where do you go to for support? I mean, how many times have we been to police? Oh, that and for my brother as well, it was only yeah. me that had, that, had, that did it for him. Others didn't want to know. So, I, I mean, I've been to police, you've been to police. This is five years, at least, to my knowledge, and what's been done, at, what, what in five years of intimidation has been done? Nothing's been done at all. All I ever get for you is a crime number. That, that's, that's all I ever get. Well, I have asked for CCTV cameras outside. And I said it'll serve two purpose, is it purposes. It'll either catch it who's doing it or it'll stop them doing it. Well, when you don't bother with anybody much, and I don't, I used to be, go to be brothers every day. We were right close, you know yeah. what I mean? And I thought the way they were treating him were bad enough. But I never thought I should, I'd finish up more or less in the same position. Yeah. But I, I feel, as I've gone round various people, um, they don't want to know. Now, when oh. I tackled grooming about starting off approximately 10 years ago, I got, I hate the same brick wall. Nobody wanted to know. It wasn't happening. It was all in my imagination. And I'm finding the same again. Go away, it's not happening. But it is happening because it's not just you. It's various other people around here. And I think that something has got to be done. And we're starting with you. I want cameras outside. And uh, I want people to know, that's why we've come to film it today, I want people to know that at 84 years old, this is what you're having to put up with and it's not on it. So you went out and you came back and somebody's knocked down and removed your Yorkshire Post. Yeah, and he put, he put one at that pair, one at his side, one at my side, but instead of putting it next to Yorkshire Post, which he should have done, mm. it, it, it didn't. So now, because you've got no gate post at one side, you can't put your gates back, can That's you? That's right. Which you'd taken off to paint at the time. Uh, oh, yeah. 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 So how long have you been without your gates then? Oh, it's a Years, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. I had little one renewed altogether. It hasn't got fittings on. It's got undercoat on. 
But I've been looking round at reclamation yards and we're on a high... You're going to have to buy two Yorkshire posts. You, you, you're talking up to a grand to put that right, what they've knocked down. And it's not fair. So they've got their gates now and you haven't. I and think, Margaret, you should be allowed to live out your time in your own home without being intimidated and pestered and threatened. Exactly. That's, that's what you want, That's all it? you want, isn't it? That's all you're yeah, asking. Yeah, I mean, if they speak to me, I speak to them, you know. And I've, I told her over the phone that yesterday when, when a cable was cut again, area was cut again, I said, uh, an old Asian got his son to do it first time for me, right? And that's it. Uh, that's his car number. That's his car number and that Marlene there. Right. So this is the. This is a. This is a bill. This is a bill for thirty-five pound that she's paid just for once repair. And now we've got another one again. I mean, somebody on a small fixed pension can't afford to keep paying thirty-five pound a year for this. Forty-five pound for windows. It's, it's not on. I have to pay for a chimney, you know. How much did you have to pay for a chimney? They because, off. Uh, because uh, age concern said you pay it for first. Forty-five pound, right? Mm. Well, they wanted one hundred and fifty, but I said that's a lot, and did I said it's only on one, on one, uh, on one side. Yeah. So they're not fifty off. Well, when they damaged your chimney, you couldn't use your auger, could you? No, and it's not. They know I use coal because I get ten bags a time. Yeah. So they know you've got an auger and they oh, damage yeah. your chimney. They know. They know because a lot of pulls up here. I get it from what? So they seem to style me so many things that you do, don't they? Well, it's a, like my brother when he went out. Nobody, nobody in, were they? I would have had him living with me, but he was a big smoker. Right? Nobody there. The thing is that they used to do when he went when he went in, you know what I mean? So your brother had it, he's dead and oh, gone and now you've got it. That, 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 that was... And I've been looking at photograph yeah, damage yeah, they did, yeah. yeah? Yeah. Oh. I thought to myself, people should know how long this has gone on. So I got some boards out at garage and put them up front. <laughs> put it all on. You know. He wouldn't give his name in advertising, would he? No no they don't. No, no. No. But I I were full blown in it, weren't I? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I am. I always said it didn't show post or anything, did it? No. It just showed which a facade of us and me. Yeah. And then at Dan said, "Mark, Mark, you must have been mad." I said, "I said, well, I didn't realise that." I said, "Crikey, I bet people wonder what, what, what they don't know me. I bet they wonder what I'm like." Well, you see, that suits them, don't it? It suits their. To, to, to make people feel that you're a bit of a loony, it suits their purpose, doesn't it? Because yeah. if you're a loony, they don't listen to you, and you're all eccentric. And he called, him next door called you a stupid old bitch. Oh, I know. And well, I was an effing slag. Oh, well, they called me uh, an effing old cow, and I thought, well, I hate bad language, me. And she pointed to Ariel, um, yeah, didn't, you, didn't you have enough with that, you effing old cow? And I thought, well, it must have been them, then, that called well, Ariel. So they said to you, didn't you have enough with Ariel that, yeah. that's been cut yeah. four times? Well, how did she know your Ariel had been cut four well, times? Well, look up, see what I mean? But you're not flitting, are you? Why should I? Why should you? I like it here. I mean, I like to walk to town, get bus, bike, you know. It's your home, isn't it? I'm plod on in my own way. Yeah. You I... see, people think because you're old, you don't matter, don't they? Oh, I know. Yeah. I know. But you do love, you do. It matters you... to some of us anyway. And if you get a job done, I mean, they only half, half do it for you because they think, well, there's nobody behind her. Yeah. 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 Well, this time I'm I'm not going to be put off. They, they keep calling me racist, but whoever it was that was doing this to you, I would be against them. I would be fighting them, red, white, or blue. You shouldn't be allowed to intimidate and smash windows and cut uh, television aerial. You shouldn't be allowed to. Well, do the only this. thing I see them do is when he was smashing wall with hammer, and then he went in, and as I looked. Wagon were coming up to collect cardboard and paper, right? I got some, I got some watering buckets, and when they to fill it all up, 
And when they'd gone, there were a couple coming down, I told you, didn't mm. I? And he just got bucket, kicked it up in air. You're not using that heavy thing anymore, he says, for, for water. It's just outside the door, it's all split. It's only an, an emulsion uh, thing, Tin, you know. Yes. Yeah, container, yeah, yeah. So they think you're supposed to sit here and take it, and when they've intimidated you enough, you're going to sell your house for next to nothing then? Oh, exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah, and they offered you some sort of swap? Oh, yeah, uh, swap for a terrace. To... And how many rooms has this got? For a terraced house. And what army's this got? How many this room got's got seven, hasn't it? Yeah. So they've offered to swap your terrace for a seven room yeah. house. Well, the, that's nothing. When I went down to my brother's, uh, in from <laughs> Warwick Street, it took my brother in car to Maltby and wanted him wanted him wanted him to do a straight swap for forty nine Warwick Street and that at Maltby. And now Nip says, Oh no, he says I'm <laughs> it lives round the corner. And they offered you some sort of cruise? Oh, uh, yeah, uh, him next door. What did he, he said he'd done it before. And what did he offer you? A, a world cruise. Yeah. Right? Then he takes house over for the minimum rent. Yeah. So he's going to get your house for paying you for, to go on a world cruise and then you rent your own house back? That, that's before he did... Uh, that's before he did uh, post, when he first bought it. Does he think you'd have? I don't, I don't know when he bought it for 64 or 65. Uh, it, it had a job going with it being near Mosque. And uh, he, put, he had a uh, conservatory done. And him next door, when he was talking to me, he says, when he had conservatory done, he gave a false name. So he got it for half price. He put it up for sale for 199 something. Got it down somewhere, it won't have a time. What have they offered you for yours? Have they offered you a price, Margaret? No, no. Not offered, they've not said a certain price for no, it? No, all, all they've done is, they said, what do you want? You've got driveway on that, you know. But they've offered you a swap for a terrorist and yeah, a world yeah, cruise. Yeah, yeah. And what do you think your house is worth? I've no idea. Oh, a two policemen that come recently he says, how much did you give for this place then? Well, what's that got to do with it? Well, I said, uh, uh, I told him, like, I said, I'm not so sure, but I think that's what we gave. Then they got all about this, and I thought, well, when are they going to go down and, and have a look at damage that's been done? It seems as they, 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 they've, got de they've gone deaf. Yeah, I mean, is. they've urinated in my garden out front. Mm, I remember that. It's yeah. stunk when you walk past it, did it that often? But, and didn't they paint your windows? How do you remember oh, coming? Oh, you know, I've got to go to the toilet. Yeah. I got up one time and looked at the... And he, I thought, there's somebody in porch. You can't tell who it is, but you, there's a shaddy, you know, mm. on glass. So I come down, chain on, open the door, black. Yeah. They poured paint in my porch, all down the drive, on my lounge window, that one on I drive. Yeah, I remember coming and all your, all your windows were black painted. And uh, it was gone 12, and they sent... Somebody out. And like this on City, he says, uh, have you any paper? And uh, I got one of them kids' books. And he says, uh, I want one that come about uh, post. So they know it's a continual thing then? Pratt, he says, there's not, nothing you can uh, 